going on guys this is right route and today as you can see I'm bringing you unreal so real quick for anybody who wants this game this game is actually available um, this game is actually available on GOG for free um, that's GOG.com uh, good old games and then it's also uh, came to my attention it's funny because someone someone on Facebook the group that I'm in told me that it was free on GOG so I'm like oh man that sucks I really want it on Steam you know but okay I'll take it on GOG if that's right you know I can get it for free I'm not going to complain um they actually uh released this for free on Steam too but it's only for free for the next 48 hours or so when and and not complete like by the time this game or by the time this video gets uploaded you're going to have about 30 hours or less so um to get it for free so I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. Um, not really a big deal, but just wanted to help people if I can. So this is Unreal, not Unreal Tournament, but Unreal. A lot of people don't even realize that before Unreal Tournament um, came Unreal. And this game, of course, uh, you know, was released by Epic Mega Games, and of course was released uh, in 1998. And then in 1999, they um, Epic Mega Games, but worked with another developer to release the expansion. Uh, this game actually does include the expansion, so that's actually really nice. Um, so you get the whole package, you get all the all the content for free. Um, the expansion came out, like I said, a year later, which uh, some people say it's the maps and stuff are somewhat better than the original. Um, I think the original is better than the expansion. Um, I think the ending on the expansion is really stupid. And um, uh, the maps are maybe better in some ways, and you know I won't get into the whole deal. So uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go through like the first episode and uh, go from there. But as you can see, if we go to uh, hold on, see the game, you can return to Na Pali, Nepali. That is the uh, the expansion that was released a year later. So we're just gonna start with the original, of course. Prisoners 8, 4, 9, escaping. Prisoners four seven zero escaping. Oh. How... Damn it. How do I get out of here? Um, I'm confused. 
How do I get out of here? Wait, hold on. I need to raise the darkness, I think, or the brightness. I can't see crap. Cannot see anything. I wanna, I need to, I'm gonna adjust volume real quick. Make sure you guys can hear me over the volume of the game. There we go. You have entered a restricted area. Whoa. Wait, can I act? Crap. Oh, no, no, no. Nice. This game actually holds up pretty well. I mean, for the age and everything of it. And of course, if you haven't, if you're younger and you haven't actually, you didn't experience these type of games and graphics when it was new and like exciting and like really, you know, 
state of the art and stuff, then of course it probably won't look as good to you as it does to me, but uh, wait, what's that up there? Clip, okay. Get out of here. Okay. I have it as good as it can look too. I have it on 32 bit color depth and I have it on the highest resolution that it can go without without um, putting black bars and stuff on the side and stuff like that. So it's on um, 13, no 1280 by 1024, I believe. I put it on 1600 by uh, whatever it is, which is the highest resolution this game supports. Um, but it, it it just puts black bar and stuff on the monitor and so Oh shit I thought that this was done by like episodes, but it's it's not. Some games of the era, you know, obviously were I'm not gonna say their names because they're obvious, but I I don't think this is, I think it just keeps going, I think you just keep progressing. Oh crap. I think you just keep progressing and loading into maps. I think that's how this one works. I, I never actually played this, believe it or not, back in the day. There was a lot of good games to play back then. Like, I mean, you know, you got the Dooms, you got the Quakes, you got the Duke Nukems, you got all the racing games, um, there, and then, and then some. So, fortunately, you don't get to play everything. So, this was one of the good ones that I missed out on. Um, and I'm not going to go through the game and beat the whole game or anything. Um, but I did want to kind of play it for a little bit, make a short video out of it, and then, um, yeah, call it good. So, 
as you guys know here on the channel I bring you all sorts of you know uh, content whether it's old new in between I like playing it all so Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I turned those off, whatever they were. But what that accomplishes, I don't know. Wait, what's that? Is that like a... That's weird. Why would... Why would there be two blocks like that, just randomly? Like, look, it's, like, completely random. I wonder what the developer would think. Like, the guy who made this map, I don't... Huh. That's... Uh, uh... Uh, um, no, 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 uh, um... Wait. Wait. Oh no, I hit So I'm just totally dead and I didn't save either did I? What happened? Am I supposed to like respawn or what? Oh wow, okay so Okay, I think I'm going to call it quits here, guys. So, uh, this is just a quick look into Unreal that came out in 98. And, um, I may get farther into it. I don't know. Like, I might continue this. Um, I might not. I really don't know. The reasons I wouldn't would be that I have a lot of games that I always play. And this is something that, yes, it interests me and it's fun. But, um, I don't think I'm interested enough to go through the whole thing. And make like a whole review on it. Um, and I only say that because I have a lot of other games that you guys don't see that I play all the time. So I'm not sure if I'm willing to sacrifice that time. That's essentially what it comes down to. But I did need some new content so this works. Alright guys as always thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.